Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into combining selectors. So let's jump into the Visual Studio Code to understand the topic. So we are into the Visual Studio Code and the kind of setup we are having for this topic is like this. We are having an HTML file, which is almost the same, whatever we have used earlier. Along with that, we are also having the CSS file, which we are going to write it for this example and which is residing within the CSS folder. And here you will see that we are having the div element, which contains h1 tag, h2 tag, tag and along with that we are having two articles tag where we have a class called combined style and then we are also having a div element which is also having a combined style the class name is same so what we are going to learn in this we are going to look into that even though we are having the same name how we can use the same class name for two different elements within CSS but prior to writing the style.css file let's look into the output without CSS file so as usual select this file press F1 select the first option it will give us option to open in browser click on it so the output will look something like this so here we are seeing that we are having two blocks which we have designed with the help of article tag that is a semantic tag of HTML5 now let's jump back to the Visual Studio code and write the style.css for combining selectors so to write the combining selector for article we must have to tell that article and then we have to use the dot notation to represent the class and we are going to write the class called combined style copy it and then we will apply the style over here for the article so let's write it background color would be gray save it now this is for the article now we are having another class called combined style again that is for div so how we can write for div so we can tell that div dot make sure that you are not giving a space then it will change the entire meaning so what it will do as we already learned that here it is representing that within the div go to the descendant and which is containing this class so make sure that you are not providing any space over here so remove this space so it should be div then dot and the name of the combined style so you should write it and this time we will tell that the background color for this div is you can write it we will tell it aqua save it let's jump into the browser so here you will observe that it has applied the style for article which is a background color gray and for the div tag it has applied the background color aqua so this way we can use combining selectors and this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session see you in the next session till then bye bye take care